What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? This is Philip20 today, and what we've got for you is something uh, pretty doggone cool. I think it's really, really cool. And every solar guy should have this. It's pretty late for me getting this, but I'm going to go ahead and try to de demonstrate uh, accuracy on this device. I've never opened it, and I've never touched one of these before. So I'm gonna be learning as I go. Being that said, let's open this up. This is a kilowatt meter. This is PS10. So, go ahead and open this up. And then it's covered in plastic. Uh, oh, there's papers in here. Maybe I should read them. Should I read them? Okay, so one thing that I think is looking really really cool already that I like about this particular surge protector kilowatt meter oh it smells nice and fresh all right so it shows the ground leg and the neutral leg for every one of the receptacles all right so that that is super cool most people don't know that hot, the high voltage coming in is the little little uh, connector on uh, the 110 volt receptacle. So, you know, the little connector then bad. Uh, smells like brand new electronics. This power rating is uh, rated at 15 amps, 120 volts, 1800 watts at 60 hertz, by the way. This is not gonna work with a 50 hertz device so don't plug it up uh, looks good uh, voltage protection ratings VPR L-N is 500 L-G is 600 N-G is 500 made in China uh, don't bother me none I really don't care They're human beings just like me, right? So, I want to go with, uh, go ahead and turning this on. I got my electric meter handy. And we're going to test the uh, voltage and the amps with this device here. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and plug this up. Bam. A light turned on. And it's requesting, let's say 122.8 is going up and down 122 volts or so, so, and zero amps. Now, what we're going to do is test the voltage. Okay, currently we got 123 volts on this meter here. And we got 121 volts. So it's still up and down a volt under the miscalculation. All right, now. Let's take a look at a very large amp draw on this here and this here. We have We have 0 0.01, 0 0.00 amps. It's in the margin of error. This is a timer. And ooh, it's nice and stiff connectors. I like that. So, I'm going to turn it on. 
the timer's running now. This says 11.2 amps at 111 volts. This one says 11.2 uh, amps at 113 volts. So that basically it's missing about 10 watts from this device or my meter is 10 watts off. Uh, the surge is currently okay. The ground is okay. The wiring is okay. My inverter just kicked on. This is uh, running off of sunlight. We are kicking in this uh, 1500 watt heater. This right here is it's fully loaded. So you can see we're fully loaded. Both switches are lit up. Uh, let's go back down here to the devices. And the accuracy, I mean, I guess it's okay. Uh, currently pulling 1500 watts out of uh, that system. It says 99%, 100%, 99 99%. I'm not exactly sure what the 100% is. I'm going to have to read that. Uh, it's got a kilowatt hour button and right now it says 0, 0.0 kilowatt hours and the time that he's elapsed is 0 hour, hours and 0 days let's go back over here to our voltage and our amps Everything is staying stable at that point, which is totally cool. Now, once I turn this switch off, you know, it uh, should turn off the load. All right, it's switched off. We're back at 122 volts here, 123. And the meter is reading 123 now this is reading 121 so it's two volts to uh, three volts is how far off it is it seems to be moderately accurate um, the kilowatt hours I cannot explain a detail amount on kilowatt hours but I've got a new project for you um, a lot of people are interested in the inverter compressors and I want to find out how efficient is a inverter compressor refrigerator. Uh, fortunately, I was at Lowe's the other day and my wife seen a, uh, a, a, a refrigerator that had been dropped pretty hard and she liked it. And she said, I needed to fix it. Well, I fixed everything I could fix that was damaged. Uh, I try to straighten out the metal that had been damaged. All the front of it looks really good, and the inside of it now looks good. But some of the drawers have been cracked, so I'm going to take that refrigerator, which is an inverter compressor refrigerator, and I'm going to compare it with a smaller refrigerator. Now, the, I'll tell you the size of both refrigerators. One's 28 uh, cubic feet and one's 22 cubic feet. The 28 one has the inverter compressor, the 22 one doesn't have the inverter compressor but they uh, but it does have clean coil so it should re, uh, run at maximum performance and if you know if you guys like that I hope you do it's just going to be a simple test and I'm going to be using this to determine how many kilowatt hours the bigger refrigerator uses versus the smaller refrigerator now the smaller refrigerator is 22.8 cubic feet and the bigger refrigerator is 28.8 cubic feet. I think um, uh, that's going to be pretty close so it's going to give you a pretty good idea on the situation on that and uh, I hope you guys like it uh, because I think the bigger one actually consumes more power. When I say more power I think it's going to consume a lot more power even though it's got the most efficient compressor on the market today. This is solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Hello, lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel.
See you next time. Peace.